What you're about to see is a brand new BMW M2. But before we head to the BMW M main course, we have to first sample the appetizer, such as the M Sport and the M Performance cars before we head to the full-fledged M2. Oh, and sinama na nga rin namin pala yung X4M competition just for fun. the BMW M340 X5 right now for a Gymkhana course here at the Chang International Circuit. So you MotoGP folks out there who are fans of motorbike racing probably know this track. But here we are in the M340 X5, the 3 series with the inline 6 and the X5 rear bias with the M Sport differential. And we're pushing it here at the Gymkhana course to see how the car feels like. So you're hearing people on the mic or on the radio right now. So yeah, consider me happy with my autocross time because as it turned out, I was the second fastest in the group. Okay, so now we're taking the 330EM Sport, which is the plug-in hybrid version of the 3 series. So this is basically BMW showcasing that despite the electrification in this 3 series, there's still a lot of fun that you can have behind the wheel of this car and at the same time uh despite that added electrification which will of course add weight to the car there's still that inherent chassis balance that will allow you the car to enter a drift which is what we're gonna do for this exercise we're gonna be actually entering a drift <laughs> We know that the 3 series will be a fun car. So what about a pure electric iX taken to the track? So now we're here in the BMW iX X340. So I've reviewed this car, which I'm gonna link up to a review on the top right hand corner of the screen. Now that I'm able to bring this car on track, that's only where of course we can explore the car's limits. And they're pretty high. They're very high for an electric SUV that weighs more than Two tons. It's really clawing onto the road really well. Oh, and by the way, in case you haven't noticed, Anton's on beside me. And the thing about with driving an electric car at high speeds is, well, especially with the iX, where there's so much sound insulation, there's no, I guess, uh, acoustic reference of speed. Like, there's no engine noise. And because this car is so quiet, there's not a lot of road noise to dictate what speed you're doing. But what's amazing is, despite this being such a heavy electric SUV, and the grip limits are really high, and it's really confidence-inspiring whenever you take it out to this quarters. It's an electric SUV that would, would usually just be for family duty. But if you wanted to take it on track, surprisingly, it's performing so well. Okay. Yeah. I didn't feel it. <laughs> it didn't tell me. No, no. I just saw it. No, 150Ks, dude. Grabe. In that short burst. Okay, so now we're in another activity with the BMW iX. An activity that probably no iX customer asked for. We're gonna be taking this car to a Gymkhana autocross challenge thing in the dirt road. 
but nevertheless, we're gonna try it here. Ready? And three, two, one, go! Just lower ratio steering. Heavy car going through the autocross course, but it's holding up really well. Frustratingly, the marshals didn't announce our times. But what's more important is the fact that the BMW iX performed really well in the autocross. Of course, considering the car size and market positioning. So we now finally get to the main course of this video, the brand new BMW M2. Now available in BMW showrooms, how does the new M2 feel like on the track? So we're now in the M2 and this is a car that you're probably waiting for! <laughs> this is what an M2 apparently is like on the track. Is that in line six? Woo! <laughs> This is basically like a modern day successor to the E46 M3 because over the past couple generations, the M3 has gotten so big that it's almost as big as the E39 M5 or the 5 Series. So if you still want the classic E46 driving experience, which is compact, light, and still with an inline 6 because we know that the E90 or the E92, the coupe version, upgraded to a, upgraded to a V8. But there's no denying that the inline 6 is what the BMW's identity is tied into. Wow. And we're actually not pushing the brakes. Uh, absolute limits because siyempre, uh, this is a controlled environment and we'd want to, uh, of course, keep everyone in check. We're actually closing in. This car is so capable, insanely capable, guys. Basically, the E46 M3 uh, translated into the modern times. Probably not as raw, since of course the car has gotten more luxurious, more insulated from the outside world. So, in terms of steering feel, that's sort of what has disappeared a bit compared to past BMs. But the chassis, everything else communicates it so well to you, including the engine of this car. I love that. I love that so much. The chassis balance is so good in this car. I guess that's where still there's communication left with how you wanna deal with the car when, as it goes to corners. Lovely. Lovely thing. <laughs> so yeah, the new BMW M2 is faster, more refined, and thanks to the wider track and longer wheelbase, it's much more stable than the previous generation model. But it also means it's slightly heavier and less on the edge kung sabihin natin. 
than the previous generation M2 which is why I find this car to be less terrifying and more approachable at its limits. But, at a little under 6 million for the base M2, though unfortunately there's no manual for the Philippine market, you can think of the M2 as a budget-friendlier version of the M4, and it's slightly lower which would mean it's more agile to the corners, though I have never driven the new or the older BMW M4. Oh, and by the way, the M2 costs nearly just as much as the Toyota GR Supra. And though I love the GR Supra 2 bits, which you can see my review at the top right hand corner of the screen, I'll easily lean towards the full-fledged and more capable M car. So yes, the BMW M2 is more capable than ever before. And though its personality is now more refined, more grown up, and thus less feisty than before, the new M2 is still the purest BMW performance coupe you could buy in 2023. Because sad to say, the new M2 will probably be the last non-electrified M car. And so as promised, here's the BMW X4 M competition as an added bonus. So the X4 M is one of those, basically the coupe version, or one of those coupe SUV things version of the X3M. I'd rather probably have the X3M in terms of looks. But if we're just gonna talk about performance and handling, this is a lot better than a lot of actual performance cars that cost less than this and are not crossovers and are actually actual real sports cars. I hope you kept up with what I said there. <laughs> Comparing this to the M2, of course the M2 is still gonna be the a condensation I guess of what M is all about. While the X4M is kind of like BMW M put in a more practical, family-friendly package as opposed to a Tudor coupe. So if you have kids and you still want to have fun and maintain your identity as a car enthusiast, then this X4M will satisfy that bill of you being a dad and you being a hoonigan behind the wheel. Yeah, compared to the M2, of course, you have more weight. Uh, the brakes are less, uh, what, what I would call, bitey or tenacious in terms of how they bite. Of course, you also have that added height, which means a bit of more center of gravity or like a higher center of gravity. But then again, like what I said a while ago, this still handles much better than some true sports cars out there, surprisingly. Yeah, uh, in the M2 as well, it's using the ZF8 speed. It's an, it's an awesome transmission. It's the best automatic. As I've always said in my reviews, it's the best automatic out there. And feeling it now in an M car. Uh, there's a perfectly good reason why premium and performance brands are using the ZF8 speed. Because it's so good, it's so responsive. It's very smooth, more importantly, in daily use. But out here in the track, it's performing great as well very insane very insane yeah there's of course less or higher or lower grip limits here in the X4M compared to the M2 because of the higher center of gravity and all but the all-wheel drive of this car the X drive or the M X drive all-wheel drive is doing its job really well in shuffling the power to keep its weight in check. Really good stuff from BM. 